this is Fun to Fight Friday, Vini TV edition, and welcome to Sunny Helsinki. As you can see, this beautiful weather, which is quite uncommon this time of the year in Helsinki. But hey, it's Fortified Friday. Today, we're actually moving away from the the utmost traditional zones, you know, Douro and Jerez and Madeira. We're actually jumping into France uh, and tackling a wine called Banulus. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but who cares? And the wine's name is Sardaigne, which is uh, supposed to be a name for this traditional Catalonian, you know, square dance or whatever. Anyways, Banulus, if you like port wine, you probably have heard of this wine as well. They're done kind of Kind of like in a similar way, obviously using different uh, grape varieties. This one has 75% uh, of Grenache Noir because it's a Grand Cru. Banus Grand Cru. It means it has to have by law at least 75% of Grenache Noir, and then I think 25% was Grenache Blanc, I think, which is quite a high percent to be uh, from white variety. But anyways, and plus. Uh, because it's Grand Cru, it has to be, by law, at least uh, 30 months in oak. Anyways, let's pour this in the glass. Oh, the color! <laughs> I mean, the weather, the color, Banilus, I mean, what could be better? You, you, know, you can check this out. It is kind of like tawny, uh, colorish, I mean, it's not very ruby, dark red. Uh, but yeah, you, I mean, if you smell it and if you have drank a lot of port wines, uh, you will probably notice that this is not your traditional port wine, which isn't, and you're not supposed to even compare, but I do. You get this uh, sort of like uh, more raisin kind of aromas, but also some uh, Christmas spices, you know, kitchen spices, some, uh, I'm sorry, my English vocabulary is so bad, I would, you know, say different kind of spices, uh, Christmas spices, but I honestly don't know what they are in English. But it's kind of like this uh, tempting and, and it, it, it smells sweet. I know in the way you cannot smell sweetness, but it does promise you a very concentrated and thick wine. Uh, let's taste it. Funny you sleep with the fishes in Helsinki. Mm. <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting taste. I mean, you get the sweetness firsthand, but then you get also this kind of rusty aroma, which I kind of like. I mean, it's not the kind of aroma that I was expecting, but it's kind of like rusty nails with some nice uh, plum jam, maybe. I don't know, it sounds very sexy to me. Let's taste it again. And when you swallow it, you get this nice smokiness. I think it might be from the oak, I'm not sure. Let's be honest, I'm not a big uh, uh, professional when it comes to Banilus wines. I have uh, passed through the region very quickly last summer, but honestly, I haven't drank that much uh, wines and I really, really would like to know these wines better because as tasting this wine, it really promises something interesting. Uh, anyways, this was Fortified Fridays. Banulus, have you tasted? If you haven't, go find either this one or one of the many other uh, Banulus ones that they have there. And also, you say, see the share button down there. Please share our shit. Sharing is caring. Remember that. And the hashtag 45 Friday. Let's talk about 45 fr fr la 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 45 wines in Twitter. Uh, I mean, I'm not claiming to be the ultimate authority on 45 wines. No way. Uh, I'm broadening my knowledge at the same time here, so it's nice to learn new things. And I really would like to hear from you guys uh, because I really want to learn more about these great wines. Anyways, see you next week on 45 Fridays. Cheers!